Hello guys, it's Brooke here. Welcome to a Q&A. This was meant to be my 1000 subscriber Q&A, but the channel's been doing so well at the moment due to a certain someone. So I'm just going to title it whatever subscriber number the channel is on at the time of uploading. Just before we do jump into the questions, just want to say thank you so much for all the support. It's been really amazing and it's just been really uplifting and it's actually nice to see something actually do well for a change in this YouTube channel. I know YouTubers do this a lot, but thank you so much for like, we're almost on 1.9k subscribers and we're closer to 2,000 and 1,000, so it's just amazing to see all the support recently. It genuinely means an absolute ton to me, so thank you. I'm just going to try and answer the questions that I do have as honest as I can. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Will you still be working at your job or would you quit if you win the lottery? Well, that is probably one of the silliest questions I've ever been asked. Of course I'd leave my job, but I barely enjoy it as it is. If I got millions upon millions and maybe a billion, I don't know. However many millions I do win from the lottery, I can assure you I'll be leaving that job within a heartbeat. I wouldn't even give them a notice. I'd be gone quicker than Usain Bolt in 100 meters. How do you not have 100k subs? Well, if you guys want to get me there, then you're more than welcome to. What equipment do you use and what do you edit on? Well, there's a lot of answers that goes into that because I use a lot of different equipment. Uh, I'll keep an answer short and sweet for you now. I'm recording on a uh, Canon 70D and I'm using Sony Vegas to edit my videos. I do want to make a video at some point on something like that. Like how I make my YouTube videos. At some point it'll be good to show an insight on how I record, edit and obviously like upload my YouTube videos. What equipment I use, how I use it and all that kind of stuff. This question is actually from my younger brother. Uh, top 3 players you want Spurs to buy and top 3 players you'd like to sell. I'm going to start with sell. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the squad that we have got. Because we didn't sign a right back like I'd like to have kept Trippier because like on his day he is a decent player but he just didn't have the best of seasons last season but um to buy uh Dybala because we're trying to sign him Bruno Fernandes and um because of our right back situation at Spurs maybe just like a decent right back I take Walker back maybe like Juan Bissaka Munier just just a good right back basically who is your favourite footballer? Um, well, if it's a Spurs player, I'm going to say Hyung min Son. You know, you've got Ronaldo and Messi, which is like an obvious answer for most people. I really, really love Hyung min Son. He just... There's nothing not to like about him. I, ju I just love him. He's a lovely guy, wonderful player, absolutely amazing. Do you have any games on your phone? Well, let's have a look and see what games I do have on my phone. I have Pokemon Go and Score Hero. So... Hopefully that answers your question. This one's from my good friend who was in the forfeit smash video that I made. How does it feel that you have a relatively decent sized audience now? It is amazing. The support recently, especially recently, it's been absolutely amazing. I genuinely can't put it into words. It's just unreal. To have so many of you behind the channel and like the comments that I've been getting and all that, it's just amazing. It, it genuinely means everything from the bottom of my heart. Like. To see the channel doing so well and continuously growing at this point is amazing. Best moment on YouTube bar meeting Chris. Obviously that is like a massive moment. Um, so apart from that, obviously like when you hit 100 subscribers that was the biggest at that like beforehand. But obviously now it's a thousand and it's about to be 2000. It's just every time like you reach a milestone and reach a goal that you have in mind. When you hit it, I can't describe how the feeling is, but it's a great sense of like achievement and reward. So it's like before it was hitting 100 subscribers because I was on 158 before. And now obviously it's gone up to a thousand. It's just like right now, it's just seeing the channel do so well as it is. We're on 1000. Let's have a look at the subscriber count. So we're on, at the time of recording, 1,889 subscribers as of the time of this actual recording in this minute of the day. So, um, yeah, obviously just like seeing that subscriber count the way it is, that genuinely is probably my best moment so far. And obviously seeing all the lovely comments and support and love that you've all been giving me, like that is the best part. Dream job, obviously YouTube. YouTube is the thing that I want to be doing. I want to be putting my life into it and my focus. It's actually always been something that I've wanted to do since I was like 12 years old. 
What inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Well, I've been trying to do this YouTube thing since I was 12, and you can see all my other channels and my old videos on my, like, reacting to old videos video. So there's a lot of videos in that sentence. But no, I've been going at it, like, since I was, like, 12, so... At first, it was more of, like, I was just watching people all the time, watching Let's Plays and just one-off Minecraft videos and all that kind of thing. So at the time, I started off in Minecraft, and I just wanted to play some games. And I just wanted to see where it would go, but like, after seeing how things are now and how everything's drastically changed, there's so many different opportunities, like with the boxing and like different events like VidCon and obviously Upload, Summer in the City, and obviously you have like the odd thing like Sideman Charity Football Match and all that kind of like one off things. It's more of an opportunity thing and like a lifestyle thing, because like, obviously, like, what you see is not all you get. I understand that it's like the best bits, the highlights almost. So um, yeah, it's just it's just more of an opportunity lifestyle thing. Obviously, if I can make money off of this, it would be nice. But it would just go straight back into the channel, whether it be for making a certain kind of content of videos, like going specifically to a place to make a video, whether it be investing into like thumbnails, making the channel look nice, and obviously like the equipment that I use because that's literally all I do with my money right now. I'd say it's more of an opportunity thing at this stage. Biggest celebrity crush? I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Favourite Rovers player? I don't know any Rovers players. Is it Dak still Rovers player? Is it Dak? Let's see. Yeah, Bradley Dak from Blackburn Rovers. I guess, I guess he would be one. I don't know. It's the only player I know, to be honest. How long is your big toe? So as long as you're... What type of content is your YouTube channel going to be centred around? Well, obviously, as you know, I'm a Spurs fan. I like football, and that's something I want to do. I obviously like boxing. I love combat sports like Muay Thai, boxing, Taekwondo. I love all the martial arts stuff. I watch a lot of it. I watch a lot of it on YouTube, and obviously, like, YouTube boxing is something that I've always wanted to get involved in, so... You know, obviously there's like vlogs and stuff every now and then depending on where I go. Let's just say I go to an event for example, like, uh, let's just say VidCon, like I can vlog the events. So it's just like things like that. Just like banger videos to be honest, I don't really know, there's, I don't really want to have like a too specific content, like I want to have some sort of creative freedom with how I upload my videos, otherwise it'll be stale for me, but like a short answer is Maybe football, maybe boxing, some some vlogs and like the odd one off video. Yeah, I don't want to tie my content down to a specific thing, but like I'd like a a general basis of where I can have my content. So like boxing, football, vlogs and the odd one off video. So like it's just stuff that I enjoy. And if I enjoy the content that I upload, then obviously it would show in the video and then hopefully you enjoy it. But I hope that answers your question. Uh, this is a uh, two-part question. What's your favourite food? Well, I would have to say probably a Nando's chicken right now. I'm quite picky, so it's not it's not amazing. And how old were you when you started watching Chris MD? This is obviously from the Chris MD video, and I'm not going to milk it anymore. But uh, around like 15,000 subscribers, it was definitely before 20k. So like, it was kind of like early stages of FIFA 14. That, that kind of time period, so like probably like 13 to 14 years old, so. So that's going to be all the questions that I'm going to be answering in today's video. Like I said at the start of the video, this was meant to be for 1,000 subscribers, but we're closer to 2,000 than we are one now. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, it means the absolute world to me, and this is genuinely a dream come true for me, and this is something that I do want to continue doing in the future, and hopefully it gets to the point where I can actually make it like a career. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Like I said, thank you so much. It genuinely means the world to me. If you are new around here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. My name is Brooke. I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you later.